Let's begin at the top of our mats for Tadasana. Going to circle sweep our arms above us and forward fold. And just ground right here for ragdoll. You can keep a slight bend in your knees. Going to lift, place our left hand on the mat and lift our right arm to the sky to give a little bit of a twist for our lower back. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up the left arm now to the sky, revolving your chest upward as well. And exhale, lower. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin, exhale, fold. We'll also then create an interlace with our left and right hands and let the interlace hang over our body. Letting everything surrender. Then release without slingshotting. Then Urva Hastasana. Lift up again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to shin, neutral neck and spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift once more. Exhale, step back into plank. Stacking our shoulders over our wrist, keeping a cat-like back, and our feet are spiked up, and we will press forward two inches and chaturanga our arms for a 90 degree bend. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll pedal out our feet. This is, this is our first down dog for the flow. You can also stack hip over hip for scorpion dog. Give yourself what you need here. Then we will go ahead for three more rounds of our sun A's. So inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step, hop, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urvas Hrstasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step, hop, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, get big. Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank. And you can always drop to your knees as well for plank pose. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more round. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step, hop, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now that we are warmed up, inhale, lift up your right leg for three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through for warrior one. So, keeping our feet train track, our back foot is lying flat. 
at a well a 45 degree angle and our right leg is forward keeping a bend in our knees and our hips are forward as well and our shoulders are stacked over our hips and pinkies are dialed into one another for warrior one our gaze is straight forward and making sure we're keeping our shoulders below our ears so not raised but lowered step forward for Tadasana then we will lift up our right leg and cross it over our left and then we will cross our right arm underneath our left for eagle pose here for eagle pose and then we're keeping our elbows lifted you can keep some water, a water bend in your knee for on your left leg here. Whole body is engaged. You can also give yourself a hug as well, as opposed to doing the full expression of eagle. All right, and from here, you can keep your eagle arms or you can also keep your hands in prayer center. But next, we will then slowly but surely go into our warrior three stance. So taking our right leg slowly but surely behind us for warrior three. You can still keep a slight bend in your left leg. You can also release for warrior three here. It's okay, you still have time. And then exhale slowly into warrior two. Keeping that heel arch alignment as well as your arms firmly planted. Imagine if someone were to press down on you. Also keeping your left, the outside of your left foot firmly planted. I'm also going to turn around so I'm at the back of the mat. I'm going to turn around so you guys can be facing me. So for warrior two, and then we're going to transition, inhale for goddess pose, and just deepen. Your hands can be in prayer center, or they can also be right by your hips. Let me just hold here. And from goddess pose, we will then transition into easy twist to our mat. So placing the right arm down, keeping the right foot spiked up, we'll then raise the left hand up to the sky. And then, easy twist, remember to also keep your hips squared as well. Imagine a glass on top of your lower back here. And then keeping our gaze to the sky, we'll then transition to our side plank so taking our left leg on top of our right, as well as our gaze, you can also drop one knee here and keep it lifted, or you can keep both. Still keeping the shoulder stacked over the wrist. Feel free to lift one leg if you'd like. And then, Place both hands on the mat, Chaturanga Dandasana, your arms. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. So we'll also begin to do that on the left side. All right, switch back over here. All right, inhale, left leg, three-legged dog, lifting up that left leg so you can get a little bit further. Step it through, warrior one. Feet are train tracked, still keeping everything parallel facing. Dial your pinkies together, still keeping your shoulders open, but still under your ears. 
then Tadasana, mountain pose at the top of the mat. Next, we will then do eagle pose. So left leg over your right, and then right, left arm under your right, and wrapped around. All right, if you have time, if you fell out, also if you did this variation on the other side, you can also take that chance to do it here as well. And we just have a few more breaths here. You can still keep some water in your bended knee on your right leg. And then we will slowly release our left leg. Four, warrior three. You can keep those arms like you're trying to move through peanut butter slowly but surely for warrior three. Hands can also be at prayer center or behind you or even in front of you. Exhale, warrior two. Strong arms, heel arch alignment. Keeping the outside of your right foot planted and make sure your knee is in between your big and uh, second biggest toe. You should be able to see in between both. Mm -hmm. Inhale, goddess pose. Here. And then pretty dynamic movement here, but inhale, easy twist. Still keeping our, imagining our glass on top of our lower back. Shoulders stacked over wrist. Gazes upward. And then letting that left leg fall over. Bringing the right leg on top for side plank. <laughs> I'll just do it again on this side <laughs> for a side plank for you guys to see. Also, again, drop that knee and lift up the opposite leg. Or <laughs> if you can, feel free to like lift up a leg or any other challenges here that you like. And then slowly plant the opposite hand to the mat and take your flow. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Now we've moved to our cool down section. And feel free to give, grab a sip of water before we move into pigeon pose. Going to lift up the right leg for a three-legged dog again. But instead, we'll be making a four. Oop, I got a pop. <laughs> making a four here in between our hands for pigeon. So stretching on the outside of the hamstring. Chest is proud and lifted. Your left leg is lying flat on the mat. And then slowly but surely, Begin to walk yourself forward onto the mat. You can create a head, a head rest here for yourself. Or you can still keep yourself lifted, whichever works for you. And four more breaths. Okay. 
slowly begin to wake up. And then back in downward facing dog again. You can pedal out your feet. Then we'll lift up with our left leg and bring it through like we're trying to make the number four. And letting the right foot lie flat on the mat now behind us. Your chest is proud and lifted. And you can stay here or you can make that same head rest here on this side. Fall and surrender. Have four more breaths. Slowly begin to lift up. We did our last downward facing dog, so we're done with those today. We're going to swing both legs in front of us. Feet are flexed or pointed, whichever. We're flexible here. <laughs> Alrighty, and we will begin to fall over our legs for four fold. And see if you can lift, extend, then fold. And your hands can be right here. If you're right here, this is perfectly okay. If you're right here, this is good. Right here is good. Everywhere is good. Just let yourself fold over. Four more breaths. Slowly begin to raise vertebrae by vertebrae. And then we're about to roll on our backs, but would like for us to actively roll on our backs. So utilizing our last bit of core strength, Roll vertebrae by vertebrae onto the ground and then make a T-shape with your arms and then lift up your legs into tabletop and then we will roll our legs over to the left side for supine twist, keeping our right shoulder planted and then passing our gaze over to the right. Four more breaths. Right. Begin to raise. Same thing, keeping our legs in tabletop, we will then begin to swing our legs over to the right side of our body. Keeping our left shoulder now planted on the mat, we will then pass our gaze over to the left.
breaths. Begin to lift up and let the legs fall onto the mat. And you can bring your arms closer to you, facing up or on the mat, whichever brings you the most peace. And we're going to slow it down for a brief respite here, ensuring your shoulders are lying flat on the mat, minimal to no arch in your back, letting your ankles hang and your legs fall idle. Unfurl your brow and relax your jaw. Allow your breath to get deeper here. Shavasana. Begin to bring back awareness to your hands and fingers and toes. Create circles with your wrist and ankles. You can give yourself a stretch. And then we'll fall over to our favorite side and just have a brief pause. Rise up into seated. And circle sweep our arms and meet them at prayer center. The highest good in me, honor, sees, and believes in the highest good in you. I hope you've received a little bit more focus and concentration through the flow today. I know I did. Thank you so much for joining me today for your practice. I'm so excited to see you in my next video. Namaste.